12,000 was invested in a fund that paid interest at M% per annum compounded quarterly. After 24 months, the value of the investment was 13,459, determine the value of M. Let's go ahead and dissect the information we have. Our principal amount is 12,000 and our accumulated amount is 13,459. Our interest is what we're supposed to find, M percent, which is just M divided by 100. It is compounded quarterly, right? We know what to do with that information. After 24 months, the value of the investment was 13,459. So how many quarters do you have in 24 months? N is equals to eight. We're gonna have the accumulated amount being equals to the principal amount multiplied by one plus I, everything to the power N. The accumulated amount is 13,459. The principal amount, 12,000 multiplied by one plus I, the interest, which is M divided by 100, everything divided by four. Why are we dividing by four? Because it is compounded quarterly, everything to the power eight. Uh, the most organic step is dividing both sides by 12,000. If we do that, we're gonna have one plus M, divided by 400, everything to the power eight, being equals to 13,459 divided by 12,000. M divided by 100 divided by four is the same as M divided by 400. So we can just write that instead. Now what we want to do is get rid of this eight. How do we do that? On the left hand side, we're gonna have one, plus m divided by 400 everything to the power 8 everything to the power 1 divided by 8 we want 8 and 8 to cancel out but we have to do the same thing on the right hand side on the right hand side we're going to have 1.121 to the power 1 divided by 8 we are going to have 1 plus m divided by 400 being equals to 1.121, everything to the power one divided by eight. It's obvious what we need to do at this point. We need to take one to the right hand side and multiply both sides by 400. We're gonna have M being equals to 1.121, everything to the power one divided by eight, minus one multiplied by 400. That's all we need to do to find the value of M, which is equals to 5.78%. Let's go ahead and do 6.2. In 6.2, on Jan 31st, uh, somebody deposited uh, 1,000 in an account that paid interest at 7.5% per annum compounded monthly. Right, we need to note that. He continued depositing 1000 on the last day of every month. He will make the last deposit on 31st December 2022. Will Tino have sufficient funds in the account on 1 Jan 2023 to buy a computer that costs 13000 Justify your answer by means of an appropriate uh, calculation. Let's make, a, let's make sense of our situation. So the first deposit is on the 31st of Jan. And the last deposit will be on the 31st of December. So that is 12 deposits, our value of N. So we have N being equals to 12. We have our monthly installments or our monthly uh, savings being equals to 1,000. Uh, what is another piece of information we have? We have the interest, which is equals to 7.5% uh, compounded monthly how much money is he gonna have at the beginning of the following year that's what we're trying to figure out uh, we're gonna have the future value this is future value because we are saving money and making monthly contributions uh, it's gonna be equals to x multiplied by one plus i everything to the power n minus one everything divided by 
i let's go ahead and substitute uh, the value of x our monthly contributions uh, that is 1000 multiplied by one plus the interest which is 7.5 percent uh, divided by 12 we divide it by 12 because it is compounded monthly everything to the power 12 minus 1 divided by the interest uh, the interest again 7.5 percent we still divide in that by 12 because it is compounded monthly if you put that in your calculator you're going to get 12,421.22 rands which is less than 13,000 we are not going to be able to purchase that computer that cost 13,000 because our future value is less than that that is 6.2 let's take a look at 6.3 6.3.1 so tower plans to buy a car that costs 250,000 we will pay a deposit of 15 percent and take out a loan for the balance the interest on the loan is 13 percent per annum compounded monthly 6.3.1 let's calculate the value of the loan so he wants to buy a car that costs 250 thousand he will deposit 15 percent of that amount and finance the rest so what is the value of the loan the value of the loan is equal to 250,000 multiplied by 85 percent uh, the 15 percent is the deposit he is deciding to pay so what is the amount of the loan uh, the amount of the loan will be equal to 200 and 12,500 rands 6.3.2 the first payment will be made six months after the loan has been granted the loan will be repaid over a period of six years after it has been granted calculate the monthly installment we need to make note of something it only starts uh, repaying the loan six months after it has been granted so during that six months for the five month after the first month of taking the loan the loan was accumulating interest we are only considering the five months because the month you take the loan it is not going to accumulate any interest so we're gonna have a being equals to p one plus i everything to the power n so the new loan uh, will be equals to the principal which is 212 thousand five hundred rands multiplied by one plus the interest which is 13 percent compounded monthly so that will be 13 percent uh, divided by 12 everything to the power five like we are saying if you put that in your calculator uh, you're gonna get two hundred and twenty four thousand two hundred and 62.53 cents as the balance six months after the loan has been granted let's go ahead and compute the next part of our problem we know fully well that when we are repaying a loan we use p is equals to x multiplied by one minus one plus the interest everything to the power minus n everything divided by I. this is the monthly installments we're looking for and p is the loan amount or the value which is 224,263.53 cents so we're gonna have 224263.53 being equals to x um, everything multiplied by one minus one plus the interest uh, 13 percent uh, we divide that by 12 everything to the power minus n so let's make sense of that minus n so he's repaying the loan in six years right let's concentrate on the first year there's something that is happening there on the first year the other five years we just have five multiplied by 12 which is equals to 60 but what about the first year how many payments are we going to make in our first year 
let's say the loan has been granted in Jan. So in Jan, it's not going to pay Feb, March, April, May. But at the end of the sixth month, which is June, he's going to make uh, the first payment. So he's going to make a payment in June, July, August, September, October, November, December, which is seven. So he's going to make 60 plus seven payments, which is 67. So that is our value of N. We need to familiarize ourselves with those kind of situations. So we have minus 60. Seven. The value of n is not 66 but 67 and that is a very common mistake. We are dividing everything by the interest which is 13% divided by 12. We want to find the value of x which will divide both sides by this coefficient of x. So x will be equal to 224,263. 0.53 divided by the coefficient of x this will be equals to 4724 rands 96 cents